Disney has. Here to introduce you to this new series is Walt Disney. Well, hey everybody, hi P here. Uh, it's Saturday before the day that, uh, for Christmas next uh, Sunday, I guess. So I'm just trying to finish up some packages and stuff. You know, it's been two weeks since I posted, and I just don't have much to go, much to show you. Uh, I got a few, a few items. Just, to, uh, just something I was just thinking the other day is that is, uh, you know, I. I, uh, I, I like Pringles because they're, they're, they're a little bit crunchy, but you know, with my limited teeth, it's, it's good. But I was just uh, wondering if you'd ever not, if you'd ever seen this. I was, uh, like I said, I was opening one of these cans up the other day, and there's this odd, uh, there's this odd th notice on the side of a Pringles can. Have you ever noticed that? Next time we're in the store, take a look at it. I was just about to call the 800 number. Uh, to find out what the heck this is, but I figure, okay, before I make a complete idiot of myself, let's uh, let's do a let's do a quick search on the internet. And sure enough, turns out what this odd. Uh, I'll put it up on the screen here. This is like a a kosher notice from the Jewish rabbis or something. They say this is okay for I don't know to eat on Fridays or something. I, I thought kosher only was for like uh, um, for meat products, but apparently it's okay for. For Pringles, so I got this old can. So the other thing was, the other thing was maybe thinking, you know, Pringles cans—they look like cans, but they're actually made out of paper, right? They're just tubes. Even this top that looks like metal up here is actually just paper. But there is metal on the bottom. But I was just uh, contemplating the other day: what if the would you have a problem? Suppose so that the Pringles cans are nothing more than uh, they're made like uh, toilet tubes, toilet paper tubes. So would you have a problem if you knew that? Pringles cans were, were made in the same plant where uh, uh, toilet paper tubes are made. Would that be an issue for you? That's a stupid question. I don't know. You know, uh, speaking of Pringles, uh, when they first came out, this was a, used to be a Procter & Gamble product. And they used to, I bet you this is a, a possible collector's item. If you had a Pringles can, especially unopened, that still had the old Satanic Procter & Gamble logo, you know, with the moon and the face and the moon. You know, hey, look that up. Okay. So the other thing was, I'm going to show you some footage here now. Is I shot this just a few days ago. Last weekend, I think it was, CBS uh, aired a uh, two episodes of the old original Dick Van Dyke show from like 1961 or something like that. Okay, that uh, show, of course, was shot in black and white. So they colorized it. I took a look at it. Actually, a pretty good color conversion. It looked real good. My issue was, though, that the goofy thing, when you turn up the, when you punch up the guide to look at the schedule on TV, they show, you know, Dick Van Dyke show in color, blah, 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 okay. So they have a picture there to kind of to draw your attention to it, but they don't have a picture of Dick Van Dyke, they got a picture of Carl Reiner. Okay, what the, okay, you know, you ask, go on the street right now and ask somebody who Carl Reiner is, you know, they wouldn't know it. But the thing is, they're, they're promoting the Dick Van Dyke show, but they got a picture of Carl Reiner. I couldn't understand how goofy that was. So I gotta show you my rant on that. Uh, other than that, though, I hope you guys have a nice uh, Christmas and uh, New Year. I'll try to come up with something at least reasonably interesting for the next episode, okay? Okay, I guess that's it. Okay, uh, hi everybody, Pete here. Uh, I just, uh, I think put this question out to everybody out there because this is something I just don't understand. So I just have to show you this. Okay, look, I'm gonna turn on, I got my, I got this little video recorder here so, so that you can get a close-up of this. So I'm gonna start recording with this. Okay, so here's the thing. Tonight on CBS, they're showing two Dick Van Dyke uh, episodes uh, in, that have been colorized. And anybody that's like, you know, over the age of uh, 50 at least, you know, knows that the original Dick Van Dyke show was shot on 35 millimeter film in black and white. Okay, so now they're, you know, they're doing this with Lucy, too, showing off colorized episodes. Okay, that's fine. I have no problems. But besides the fact the, uh, the technology for doing this has gotten so good now, they like, look pretty cool. But here's my question. Okay, so look, I'm going to show you this. We're on, we're on Comcast, we're on Comcast cable here. So let me, I gotta punch up the, I gotta punch up the guide. This is what I just don't get. It's, it's just it's so bizarre. So let me, uh, let me punch this up. <coughs> Excuse me, the guide. Now check this out. There, there, I, this is just, I just don't get this. Okay, so the uh, cameras, this, the other cameras looking at this, I don't, I don't have to 
show you this from this game. So look, I'm going to punch up. Uh, we're we're in California. This doesn't come on till uh, till later this evening. Uh, so here it is. It says here it is the Dick Van Dyke show. Okay, let's let me show you. There it is. So I'm going to punch up the information on the Dick Van Dyke show from the guide on the screen here. So we do that. Boom. Now more info. We pull it up. Now here's the thing. Okay, look at this. Look, 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 look. Okay, so here's here's the thing with with Dick Van Dyke with the, the Dick Van Dyke show now in living color. This is fine with a little blurb about each of the two episodes they're showing tonight. But I mean, look at this photograph that they're showing here. So uh, to show the episode here, okay? Look at this. Okay, I, I'm telling you, you get your kids or anybody and ask, who is that? Oh, is that Dick Van Dyke? No, that's not Dick Van Dyke. Who is that? I'm telling you, nobody's going to know that that's, you know, the... <laughs> God, it's so amazing. Okay, this is the guy who they who Dick Van Dyke supposedly worked for. This is the fictitious Alan Brady, who was, who was the guy that they worked for uh, on the TV show. Well, by the way, he sort of... He sort of played a kind of a dick, you know, not the, the sort of an asshole boss. He's always demanding and it is, he was, stuff wasn't funny, you know. Okay, but that's besides the point. Why, why are they showing this guy? Okay, so this photograph is of Carl Reiner, okay, who was known for back in the early 50s television. Okay, so he was an actual writer on the show, but he played the fictitious Alan Brady, who the characters wrote for that worked for this guy all right so Carl Reiner was the producer and I think he wrote a bunch of episodes most likely and he was uh, he appears in maybe 10 percent of the episodes get your kid anybody and tell uh, who is that in that picture they're not going to know who Carl Reiner is he's in a few movies he directed a couple of movies matter of fact uh he directed a movie that I find that I always found very funny as uh, sibling rivalries he directed that's a fun little one but I'm telling you, I don't get it. I just do not get who's working for, for whoever puts these things together, these, uh, these uh, guides. There's no, makes no sense <laughs> to have Carl Reiner as the photograph up there. It should be Dick Van Dyke, one of the f publicity photographs from the year. It should be there. <laughs> I just, I just, somebody explain it to me, please. I don't get it. All right, there's a, there's a rant for, to, for my next episode. All right, thanks, folks. Have a nice Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Saturday night.